Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Magic News with Magic Ridge. I'm your host, Ridge. Nice to meet you. Today is Friday, and it is May 28th. We are finishing up the Modern Horizons 2 previews. All right. So first up is... Damn! Yeah, that's right. What did I say? Damn! That is right. It cost a swamp and a swamp 2cc sorcery speed destroy target creature. A creature destroyed this way cannot be regenerated. And it has overload for two mana of any color and a uh, planes planes. So it's white black. And so it's overload. Overload costs four mana in the white variety. You may cast this spell for its overload cost if you do change it its text by replacing all instances of target with each. So destroy each creature. A creature destroy, destroyed this way cannot be regenerated. So it's basically a black and white version of Wrath of God or Day of Judgment. Well, I guess Wrath of God, is that the one? Day of Judgment doesn't have the regeneration or basically a damnation called Damn. Okay. Next up, we have a Gorilla Shaman for one Mountain, 1cc, creature type, ape, shaman, it is a 1-1. One, one. You can pay X mana and X mana, so double X and 1 mana of any color, to destroy target non-creature artifact with mana value X. Alright, alright. Next up, we have Flame Blitz for 1, uh, one mountain, 1cc, one enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, Flame Blitz deals 5 damage to each Planeswalker. I think this is very cool. So this will keep most Planeswalkers off the field. Since there's an enchantment. you can, It also has cycling too. So you can pay two mana of any color. Discard this card to draw a card. Next up we have Bone Shredder. For two mana of any color. And a Swamp 3cc creature type for Rexian Minion. It is a 1-1 one, one with flying. Nice to see some Phyrexian stuff coming back. It has Echo for two mana of any color and a Swamp, so three mana for its Echo cost at the beginning of your upkeep. If this creature came under your control since the beginning of your last upkeep, sacrifice it unless you pay its Echo cost. It also has when Bone Shredder enters the battlefield, destroy target non-artifact, non-black creature. Pretty cool. Next up, we have Milliken. Um, I was actually just playing with this the other day. Artwork's pretty badass. Two mana of any color, 2cc, artifact creature construct. It is a 0-1. You could tap it to mill a card and add one colorless mana to your mana pool. Very nice. Next up, we have Ditto Fitto. Oh, yeah, it's not English. Okay, so we have Said and Done, a split card. So the said side costs two mana of any color and uh, an island, so 3cc. Return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. It's done side, costs 3 mana of any color and a blue mana, 4 CC, to tap up to 2 target creatures. Those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap step. Alright, next up, probably my favorite artwork out of these spoilers and card in general. We have Filigree Attendant for two mana of any color and an island island, four CC for an artifact creature homunculus. Yes, that's right. It is an X3 flying. Filigree Attendant's power is equal to the number of artifacts you control. I still want to make a homunculus uh, EDH deck, but uh, we need a better... Commander, I don't, I don't like the, I don't like Philip. Philip. <laughs> Next up, we have Sanctifier and Vac for a Plains Plains two CC creature type human cleric protection from black and from red. When Sanctifier and Vec enters the battlefield, exile all cards that are black and or red from all graveyards. If a black or red permanent spell or card not on the battlefield would be put into a graveyard. Exile it instead. Very nice. Very nice. We have another split card. So we have Fire and Ice. Fire card costs one mana of any color and a Mountain 2cc instant speed. Fire deals two damage divided as you choose among one or two targets. Ice 
cost one mana of any color and an island, so TCC as well. Instant speed, tap target permanent, draw a card. You can play both of these cards, I believe, at one time as well. Next up, we have a reprint that I don't think we needed, but that's okay. Just want to put that out there. We have Karmic Guide. How many of these have been printed? Oh my goodness. Three men of any color and uh, Plains Plains 5cc. We have a Creature Angel Spirit. It is a 2-2 with Flying Protection from Black. It also has an Echo Cost of three mana and a uh, Plains Plains. So its Echo Cost is five mana. We just went over Echo. When Karmic Guide enters the battlefield, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Like I said, I could have been wrong. Maybe it's not already in Modern. I kind of assumed that it was. We've had quite a few reprints of this guy. So I'm just putting that up there. Next up, we have a Bidding Grace. Two mana of any color and a Plains 3cc enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, choose one. So you can either gain one life or return target creature card with mana value one from your graveyard to the battlefield. Not one or less. One. Honestly, in white, I have no idea what this would get for a white card. Um, or even an enchantment, like it'd get it because it's a creature. So, a one mana value creature. I have no idea what that would get. Uh, if you know, leave in the comments. Next up, we have Sudden Edict for one mana of any color and a uh, swamp. 2cc instant speed. This card has split second. Nice to see that again. As long as this spell is on the stack, players can't cast spells or activate abilities that aren't mana abilities. Target player sacrifices a creature. Very nice. I, uh, I really do like the artwork as well with the split down the middle and then we have the man with his arm turned into a skeleton and it looks like the awesome amazing sword in his hand is also like decaying from what I see. Very nice. Next up we have Shattered Ego for one island. One CC Enchantment Aura. It is an enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets minus three, minus zero. You can pay three mana and a island island so you can pay five mana in total to put enchanted creature into its owner's library. Third from the top. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we have Lose Focus. For one man of any color and an island, 2cc instant speed. This, this card has Replicate for one island, so one mana. When you cast this spell, copy it for each time you paid its Replicate cost. You may choose new targets for the copies. So counter target spell unless its controller pays an additional two mana. So if you pay three mana, two of which is blue... You can counter a spell twice unless they pay four. This is very nice. I do like this a lot. And last but not least, we have Rezguna Ardiente. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be <laughs> saying the card in a different language. Uh, we have Burning Root Walla. It looks like a lizard, so I'm going to say creature type lizard. It costs one red mana, one CC. It is also a 1-1. One, one. Uh, you could pay a red mana to give this lizard plus two plus zero until end of turn. Activate only once per turn, and it also has madness zero. Yes, yes indeedy. So, uh, that's all we got for the day. I'll see you guys again on Monday, but before you guys leave, I just want to give you a heads up. So, here's the reason why you should, should subscribe to Magic Red U YouTube channel. Sorry. So, I have a upcoming giveaway. So, every major set release, I do a giveaway. Okay, so this next set release is going to be Modern Horizons 2. I made sure to pick up prize support. Uh, my next giveaway is going to have three winners. So, three of you guys are going to win. All you have to do to join that giveaway is when I launch the, the video of the box opening. You're going to have to subscribe, so you may as well do that now. So, you'll make sure you don't miss the video. Uh, step two is you're just going to leave a thumbs up, so like the video. And step three is leave a comment on that video, okay? Because I use a ra random comment picker to pick the winners for the giveaway. So you have to leave a comment. So with that being said, I hope you subscribe. Other than that, um, I, me and my friends have another channel where we record Commander EDH gameplay. 
So if you'd like to check that out, go check that out. If you enjoy some of the videos, come on back. Check out a deck tech. Something like that. Uh, spoiler season for Modern Horizons 2 will continue on Monday. Because they don't spoil over the weekend. At least that is my assumption. That's how it's been. Uh, let's see. Other than that, uh, maybe check out my Avacyn Angel of Hope EDH deck. If you're into angels or something like that. It's definitely my best EDH deck I have right now by far. It is always updated for each set. Uh, yeah. Um... And I'm running a little late. I gotta go shoot uh, Commander gameplay with uh, with Commander Wars EDH. So I'll catch you guys on Monday. See ya.